For Reverend Sean Carroll and his staff, every day centers around their commitment to protecting deported migrants, advocating on their behalf in the U.S. while shielding them from danger in Mexico. With that sense of their dignity and that sense of safety, that that will help them face whatever comes next. For the Kino Border Initiative, restoring that dignity includes putting an end to what they call inhumane deportation practices, such as the government's policy of deporting migrants at night. We don't think anyone should be deported at night because it increases their vulnerability. Reverend Carroll often travels across the border to the KBI's shelter in Nogales, Sonora. There, many deported migrants arrive for breakfast and lunch. They're also given the opportunity to shower and get fresh clothes. Checks, money, they do it for us. They let us use the telephone to call our families, and uh, they do everything they can for us. They help a lot. Thank you to these people. We got food here in the border, and they, you know, that's the best people I think I can find in the border, in the whole border in Mexico. And in a place like Nogales, Sonora, good help can be hard to find. It's very dangerous over here, especially by the border, because of the cartels and criminals that run these towns. The food and shelter provided by the KBI is important to the safety of the migrants, many of whom would become vulnerable targets for cartel operatives, rogue police, and smugglers without it. Sonoran State Police say that this past July, several police vehicles drove to a nearby migrant shelter, arriving in the night. Uniformed police officers exited the vehicles and proceeded to break into the shelter. State police broke in without a search warrant and there were 20 migrants there, 18 from Mexico, no, 18 from Central America, two from Mexico, and the police basically threatened and robbed the migrants. We have noticed a real pattern in terms of abuses committed by police against migrants. Despite the difficult circumstances that his organization faces, Reverend Carroll knows how much worse the situation would be without the KBI's help. They're very vulnerable now. I'd say if we weren't there, they would be extremely vulnerable. 